Uh, England's remarkable year under Brendan McCallum and Ben Stokes ended on a high as they inflicted a series whitewash on Pakistan, the first they've ever suffered at home. Prior to this tour, England had managed just two test wins in Pakistan in 30 attempts over 61 years. They've now won three in as many weeks. England needed just 55 more runs on the final day and it took them just 11.1 overs to reach their target of 167. Ben Duckett finished on 82 not out while Ben Stokes was unbeaten on 35 and on broken partnership of 73. Amazing to obviously think back before we even started um, the series that we're here now and um, you know 3-0 and yeah taking the series um, without losing, um, you know, it's obviously we, we understand and I understand what a huge achievement this is, and um, yeah, it's it probably won't really sink in maybe until the new year, but um, yeah, amazing and just an incredible all round effort from everybody. And can I ask about the impact that Brendan has had then? And Rob Key put yourself together with Brendan in April, um, and clearly it's a, it's a marriage made in heaven at the moment. I didn't realize that me and Maz will be so aligned, um, you know. Sometimes they say opposites to track, but maybe that's not the right thing with <laughs> captains and coaches. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's been unbelievable. Um, he's got to take a huge amount of credit for believing in, in me, believing in my way that I want to go about this and, and also installing that belief into the players as much as I've tried to do as well. Um, he's very simple, very straight to the point with the way he speaks and leaves sort of no questions to be answered in anybody's head. Um, and as soon as his name was brought up with um, in the conversations before we named the coach, I was like, yeah, we need to get Brendan McCullum because um, I obviously had a way in which I wanted that I felt would be good for English cricket to, to go forward and I knew that Brendan was the best person in the world to be able to help me to do that. Um, an amazing 2022. Hopes for next year? Um, oh, I don't think we'll... Well, I just don't like looking too far ahead, to be honest. Um, I've obviously got my eye on the ashes and got little things about that in the back of my head. Um, but we'll just keep continuing to, to grow as a team, spend more time together out there as, as a unit and, you know, just keep enjoying having fun and playing Test Creek with a smile on our face and try to win as much as we can. Well, just look at this. Under Brendan McCullum, England have played 10 tests and won nine of them. They've done it with a brave, fast-scoring brand of Test Cricket. Turn up here in, uh, in Pakistan, you know that you're going to have to work incredibly hard over, over the sort of three or four weeks that you're here and you're going to be tested in different ways as well. And we were tested. We were tested on the field, we were tested off the field. Um, and the guys stuck together and, and continue to turn up and, and want to uh, keep taking the game forward and taking this team's mantra forward. And I thought there were some defining moments right throughout the series where we could easily have lost games, but the guys were able to find a way in those pressure moments. And we walk away with, with some fond memories for uh, not just on the field, but also off it. Well, it's been quite the month for Harry Brook, hasn't it? He was named player of the match, player of the series after three centuries and 468 runs in total. Probably been my best tour so far. Um, obviously, to come out here and win 3-0 three three out here, and in, for, nobody's ever done it before. So, um, yeah, it's been a phenomenal tour for the lads. You did face a few challenges when Abra came in, but you seem to have adjusted yourself in the different conditions that were given from one venue to the other. Yeah, I was pretty annoyed at myself for that second uh, test when I got out to Abra. Um, I thought I had to have a look at myself in the mirror and, and go out and approach it a different way. So uh, to bounce back from that and, and learn from a mistake that I was happy with. So it's no surprise to see Brooke at the top of the run scorers chart for the series. Ben Duckett makes it an England 1-2 with 357 runs. That's at an average of 95. A Pakistan bowler is the top wicket taker. Leg spinner Abra Ahmed's sensational first two matches in Test cricket and him 17 wickets, including 10 on debut. Jack Leach was England's leading wicket-taker with 15. Well, England's next Test Series is coming up in February with two matches in New Zealand. They then have a one-off test against Ireland before the much-anticipated Home Ashes Series in the summer.